Welcome back. Today's vlog, I'm going to give you an owner's view of our caravan, which, as you may or may not know, is a Swift Challenger 650 twin axle caravan. Um, so this is the second one we've had. The first one we had a few issues with. Well, somebody smashed into the back of us, but the fridge didn't work. So not everything was bad. Um, so an owner's view. So how does this differ to a review? So an owner's view in my opinion, is somebody that owns the caravan, as we do, have paid their money to buy the bloody thing, have used it for a while, and can show you around it, warts and all. They're not cheap, so you need to know whether you like or dislike the caravan before you buy it, right? That's Now, in our case, we actually purchased this without even seeing one because of the lockdown. We couldn't get the No garages had the 650 in. I did look around an 850. I uh, looked around a couple of challenges, so I had a good idea of the finish. But as far as the layout goes, it was, you could say, a bit of a risk. Although we've had just about every other caravan layout. So this, I mean, we're, you know, this one's got to work for us. Rear island bed, centre washroom, obviously the lounge here at the front. Now, start. I'll start off with the lounge. Now, the lounge seats aren't as long as the Unicorn 4 we had, the Cartagena, because the Cartagena had the transverse bed, which kind of bed that goes that way now that layout didn't particularly work for us for a number of reasons so i'll be completely honest with you what we liked what i liked about this and what i didn't like about this and what i liked about the bailey and where the bailey was better and worse vice versa with the swift waffling over here's the front as you'll see here two bench seats this bench seat, bench seat i'm sitting on here is about six inches longer than the one over there on the unicorn that we had, the Cartagena, both were the same length, like this long one. So they were both very long front benches, which they could do, of course, because they had space because the bed was going that way. And let's start off with the blinds. So I'm not overly keen on Swift blinds, if I'm brutally honest. I think they are not as good value, not as premium as the Bailey ones. They also have this clip here that does just pop off. <clears throat> so, We've had a couple pop off already. They do just pop back in again, but you know I can see potentially losing those. But so these aren't as premium as Bailey, I think. Although Aaron from Caravan Chit Chat, they now have a Bailey, and they think the a Bailey, the Swift blinds are better. So there you go. This it's all about opinion, isn't it? But they just feel a bit cheaper, maybe because the pleats are more closer together. I think on the Bailey, I'm pretty sure they're maybe a bit wide. Maybe the one is the length of two. Maybe that's what it is. They're a different make, so um, other people know more about blinds than me will be able to tell you what make they are. Obviously, with a Bailey, with a Swift, you don't get the big, what do they call it on the Unicorn 5, infinity window there. I, I might have done a review of the Unicorn 5 already, so if you've watched that, you'll see what I don't like about the infinity window and why we came back to Swift for this, this here. Obviously, front cupboards up here. What we liked about this new, the 2021 over the 2020 is that these aren't glossy. They're like matte, which we personally prefer. Again, a lot of the stuff I'm saying, you know, it's a purely personal thing. If you've got Unicorn or the 2020, 2020 version of this and you, know, you, like, you love it, that's great. I mean, there are things we don't like, things you probably might like, that's, which is all about personal choice, isn't it? Now, what we liked about this were we like the curtains. Um, we like that we, we have these, we have these on, so up here you've got this, uh, what they call a binnacle, which is where we've got a plug socket. We've got a couple of blanks where you can have extra plug sockets, like two USB ports there. Again, you can have USB ports or plug sockets there. Nice little thing, thing here to hold your iPhone or something. Now, something we weren't keen on with Bailey was down here, they had two, two plug sockets there, which is absolutely, without doubt, the worst place to have a plug socket. Looking here at these lights, these are, well, of course, I think reading lights, aren't they? Um, you know... On the Baileys, on the on the Unicorn we had, they were dimmable and also had USB charging ports in them. These don't. Do we miss that? Not really. Personally, we don't miss that. It's all about trade-offs, isn't it? It's what, I mean, these lights, not these lights, but the top lights can be dimmed via Swift command. You couldn't dim the lights on the Bailey. They were either on or off, basically. And it was like Wembley Arena or being in a cave. So, you know, it's the extreme, it's the extreme. This is much more uh, configurable, the lighting. Little cupboards up here, that, yeah, these little corner cupboards, they're good. Um, the blind here, obviously. Cupboards, this side comes with 
Uh, I knew that would happen. This side comes with shelves. That one doesn't. This one does. Now, I think you can get shelves um, as an optional extra kind of thing through your dealer. Going back on this side, um, what well, doesn't have shelves in there, but it allows you to store taller items. Now, this side, this part of the caravan, we think is shorter uh, because we certainly had more cupboard space there on the bailey. Up here, speakers and a couple of manually operated lights there. Moving on to the kitchen, some of the, now some of the things we prefer over the Swift. Sent the microwave on the Bailey Unicorn, it was to the right, which we didn't like because it was too near here. Obviously cupboards with, you know, cups and plates in that one. Splashback, again, we prefer the Swift Splashback. You know, it's all our personal stuff, isn't it? it Nice big sink here. And on the Bailey Unicorn 4, the this sort of came out here and gave you what kind of kind of like a peninsula type of thing. But the reason the Bailey have it out there is because Bailey don't have a front locker and under there they have the gas bottles. So you know, and then this cupboard isn't as it's much bigger on the Swift as you can see there. Imagine that space added a bit more but then adding the space that gas bottles take so you lose space there. Knives and forks. Also here another drawer, a cupboard with a pull out iron thing there, a pull out metal thing there and also another knife and fork drawer. Bog standard cooker. Ikea chopping board. Hooray! <laughs> Just moving, I'll just shut this door for now. Moving over here, there's a kind of cupboard here where you put the table that you put up there, caravan table, and really deep. I mean, all these cupboards, I could fit my length of my arm in. So cupboard there, cupboard there, cupboard there, cupboard there, and cupboard underneath. So although that's a small space, you know, extra storage. Uh, fridge, working fridge, hurrah. Although it's not on at the moment. Aerial up there. TV aerial, which is TV bracket, which is nice. Um, now we've added uh, this little bracket here because that allows you to kind of click your TV in. Nice little cubby hole there. TV points, 12 volt, two mains plug sockets, light switch for the kitchen. No stable door here. Now, as I've kind of said in a few vlogs, probably you've heard me say about these, this sort of thing that Swift and Bailey do. So if Bailey have a barn door swift won't have one um, swift have the infinity window bailey won't have one up until recently swift have the mains connection on the proper side bailey insisted on having it on the awning side and they've changed that in unicorn 5 hurrah up here's your swift command which is where you can control a lot of stuff now this is where in my opinion swift the streets ahead and i'll do another vlog about this because it's great but there are some downsides so pump all, all light and power heating everything air conditioning fridge radio everything can be controlled from here as well as on so you can also control the heating from there if you want i think that's pretty much it for the front of the van we'll um nip uh, i was going to try and be all nautical then and say nip aft but i don't know if that's aft whatever <laughs> let's go to the back i'll also do some kind of review of the air conditioning unit that we had fitted dealer fitted option it's really good really good so far i'm certainly been worth the money but i'll do i'll do a separate vlog on the swift command and also the air conditioning give you sort of our opinion on on that but I'm, up, up to now it's been very good we've certainly used it up. i mean when you put the awning up and you're feeling like you're going to die just so when we come up on site turn the air conditioning on put your awning up come in and then this this like oh it's nice and cool so this is a door to the rear weird vlogger in shorts hey no fruit bowl sink hurrah mirror there proper frosted window now if you see my unicorn 5 a review they don't have frost oh, i don't know what well, bailey are thinking of i think they've gone been on the loopy juice a bit too much there you go toilet obviously mirror there 
another cupboard here, handy for like toiletries. Um, we don't travel with those in there. I'll just put them in there for the sake of, for this review to get them out of the way. Shower, really good. All um, one unit, no silicone or anything. It's just fully sealed. Nice little sliding door here. I have a little cubby hole there, out of central heating to the rear. Um, no curtains here, which is great. We prefer that. It's got these padded bits at the side, which no, is all right. We're in um, almost going on the holiday mode, so I've got TVs and stuff there, lights, you know. So TV bracket also there, 12 volt TV aerial mains plug. These work really well, actually. I mean, you know, well, it's a sliding door. <laughs> Who knew? But that was loud. But I have a short story about these sliding doors. So on the Bailey, with the transverse bed bathroom at the rear, it's got like a sliding door. And they're only hinged at the top. So when you open them, when you open them, they kind of boom, 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 rattle. Very really not good. I don't know. There's little things. Yeah, little things. If you've got a caravan, little things can mount up that you don't like and that kind of happened with us with the bailey um there's a lot of things that we didn't like the transverse bed although we liked it initially it became a pain um the big window at the front again we liked it initially but it became a pain you can't you can't realistically open it it's just too big so at the back here anyway enough of that back here in the bedroom a uh, couple of wardrobe now on the elegance uh, you've got mirror there you've got a plug socket there and the elegance um, we've only got a plug socket over there and the light switch but these you know these go back like i can as i said we can get my whole arm there hit the back there so the, however that however long my arm is that's how long the wardrobe is <laughs> there you go that's really helped you in it? <laughs> visualize that a um, couple of um, things at the back here i won't open those because I keep my pants in there and there might be some in there. You don't want to see my pants. Skylight there. I'm out of heating again. The blinds. Just pop around to the other side. Show you the other side's wardrobe because it's got the um, outer overflow in it there. Which is, you know, okay. I mean, it's not ideal being right next to my head because it does gurgle every now and again, but it's not that bad. So these cupboards here, got a shelf there, um, also have a pull-out drawer there. Again, they're all a bit, you know, if you'd bought them from Ikea, you wouldn't be happy, but that's just... But that's just caravan build, isn't it? Build quality. I mean, build quality, I'm very happy with the build quality in this one. We had a few issues with the previous one, which in fairness to the dealer, they, they sorted it out. Apart from the fridge, which seems to, but anyway, um, yeah, all, you know, we like the colour of the veneer. If <laughs> we like the colour of the veneer, um, I noticed that the Unicorn 5 have gone light, lighter than this. We don't like it darker than this, but lighter than this as well is, you know, we had a Sterling which had a lighter one, you know, this, this is exactly the shade of brown that we'd like. <laughs> Um, this is a bit weird. What are thoughts on this? Obviously, the window opens. That can come over to keep flies out. But there isn't um, like a, a blackout one. Which is a, okay, but when you've got the aircon on and all the blinds shut and the sun comes through there and it's surprising. It, I mean, what I'm going to have to do is make up some kind of bit of cardboard or something so I can put across there so that it just banks it out during the day because it kind of counteracts the air conditioning a bit. I know it's major fussy, but I think it's a bit of a design fault or overlook, should I say. Little, we like this little shelf up here as well. That's basically the caravan. If I have to breathe in, you'll think I've been working out. Look at that. So there you go. There's a walk around of our 650. Now, are there anything is there anything that I prefer on the Bailey than I do on the Swift? I don't think so. Actually, one thing, one I, I might think of a few as I'm talking, but certainly where the bed is in this one, there's no external access to it. Now, we with the, with the transverse bed, you could access it from the outside, which was useful. 
Now, the thing that's major thing that's different between Bailey and Swift is that Bailey don't have the front locker. Do I miss the front locker? Yes. Yeah, I did. I did. I did miss it because you've got the like I showed you where this camera is rested is in the kitchen, and just on that cupboard is where the gas bottles are on the on the Swift on the Bailey. Now, some argue that they put them there because of weight distribution, so because they're quite close to the axles. But, you know, I think, OK, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll concede that. That is good. But um, where the, you can't fit much else in that, that gas cupboard on the on the Bailey. Um, a couple of, I used to put a couple of waste pipes in there and stuff like that. The waste pipe of wisdom would live in there. Now he lives, gets a much better ride at the front. Um, do you need to watch your nose weight with a front locker? Well, arguably you do. Now, if I'm brutally honest, I've never checked my nose weight ever because I don't, all I'd put in there is gas bottles. That's pretty much it. Um, a few little bits of pipe and the electric cable. Um, you know, there's not a great deal in there. Anything else I miss? Like I say, I think I prefer the Bailey's blinds, but I think I'm getting used to these now. They just feel a bit not as premium. Um, what else? The lighting. Didn't like the lighting on the Bailey. Like I say, it was either a Wembley Stadium or a cave. And no, I mean, you could get away with having just these reading lights on, but they don't really offer... Like they they allow you to read, but there's not a lot of ambience with it. Whereas the Swift, the top lights above the cupboards, top lights below the cupboards, bedroom lights, uh, they're all dimmable from command. Which when I do the review of the command, I'll show you. The thing I did like about the Unicorn Five was where they put the TV plug socket and aerial socket, which was kind of up higher, so you haven't got the cable hanging down. But yeah, it's minor things like that. I didn't like the this. Dometic fridge initially that opens both ways, but I think we didn't we'd gone off it because it didn't work, um, so we moaned then moaned about the design. But to be honest, it's it's been you know the two weeks we've used it, two four weeks we've been away. It was very good and it works very well and it's very cold. I mean we're certainly getting used to the island bed. It's, it takes a bit of getting used to because it, it is a small bedroom, but you don't have to have the door shut. But we don't mind having a door shut. Certainly Mandy prefers it because it's dark. We always found that um, even yeah, the consultina door, that's another real dislike of mine. I mean, I'd rather have a proper door like this has got. I know why Bailey have it, because the idea is you have it open more than you have it closed. Whereas on the Swift, I think the door is probably closed more than it's open just because it's a proper door. Um, but what that does give us is the bedroom really doesn't get affected by any of the lights in the um, lounge and they're surprising the lounge you know where i am now the front surprising how many lights there are like you got the microwave the aerial the fridge there's so many i mean it doesn't seem very much in the day but at night when you you know it is a bit like blackpool illuminations if you're in the bedroom on the transverse bed they, like i say you can shut that console tuna door but it's just not the same as a solid door again personal things as far as the outside goes if I disregard the Unicorn 5, which has corrected the problem, the electric hookup point being sort of basically in a cupboard on the opposite side to the awning is just fantastic. It's just, I'm not, I'm not kidding. There was such a pain having it on the awning side. Obviously, you can live with it, but I mean, if you're being really picky about stuff, then, which is what I'm trying to do, be really picky about stuff, then that is a bit of a nightmare. But I think there's nothing that I think I don't, I dislike about the Swift. As I said in the previous vlog, the Swift has some kind of weird, more of a homely feel. I don't, maybe it's because our first kind of, although we had a Naus initially, well, that's completely different. But our first British caravan was a Sterling, which, as you may or may not know, was kind of made by Swift at a very similar, the same design, just different. They use different interiors. They go with more, well, they're different interiors, put it that way. And maybe it's because that was our first caravan that we'd like the Sterling more than, that we like the Swift more than the Bailey. I don't know. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.